Alright, so we're going to use this video to explore the Vesper geometries of these molecules. And it's good that we're doing a video because uh, sometimes when we do drawings or uh, photographs on paper, it's hard to uh, see. And you got to envision these things in three dimensions, so it's difficult. Okay, so here is uh, something that has a steric number S2 because there's two pairs of electrons here. And they're repelling each other. And so they make a linear shape. Okay, the next one is going to be our trigonal planar one. And so there are... Uh, three electrons repelling each other and they f are on the same plane so that's why we call them trigonal planar. When I take away one of the peripheral atoms and replace it with a lone pair of electrons then there is a bent or angular shape. Okay. In my next one we have a steric number four because there's now four pairs of electrons repelling each other. This is my tetrahedral shape Okay, because it forms a four-sided figure. And if I take away one of the um, electron, uh, one of the peripheral atoms and replace it with a lone pair of electrons, we get a trigonal pyramidal. And it's a pyramid. See how it's uh, standing with a pyramid, like a pyramid. And the pyramid is, has a triangular base, so a trigonal pyramidal. If I take away the second peripheral atom and replace it with another lone pair of electrons, totaling two uh, pairs of unshared uh, pairs of electrons, or two lone pairs of electrons, we have now a bent shape. Okay, this is uh, the shape of water, H2O. Pretty cool. Our next one is going to be with uh, five peripheral atoms. This is trigonal bipyramidal. Notice how um, if we compare this to maybe like a globe, uh, you have the top and bottom as the polar portions. And then the side ones, as I spin here, those are the, um, the ones on the equator. So as the Earth turns, yeah, look at how the ones on the equator move faster. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is called trigonal bipyramidal because there's a, a triangular base pyramid. See, the these things that are pointing that I'm pointing to is the uh, are the ones that make the base of the pyramid, and you can see that there's a a pyramid on the top and a pyramid on the bottom, upside down. So the bipyramidal. If I take away one of these peripheral atoms and replace it with a lone pair of electrons, we have the seesaw. Look, it's like a seesaw. Seesaw, seesaw, pretty cool. And then uh, another, uh, take away another peripheral atom, replace it with a lone pair of electrons. We got the T shape. So here's the T from Mr. T. Okay, and then next one, uh, if I take away a third one, it will give me a linear shape. Notice that um, um, there is still a repulsion between the lone pairs of electrons and the, um, the shared pairs of electrons. we we'll go back to linear. Okay. Uh, the last steric number is six, so there are six peripheral atoms in this one. Okay. Uh, notice how now there are uh, four um, equatorial peripheral atoms on, along the equator. Okay, and you may be saying, hey, why is it octahedral? Well, it's an eight-sided figure. I can make this go uh, eight ways because uh, it's an eight-sided figure. I'm not sure if I did all the ways there, but oh well. Okay, so uh, if I take away one uh, peripheral atom, replace it with a lone pair, we have square pyramidal because, look, it makes a square pyramid. Pretty cool. Uh, take away the, other, the next peripheral atom and replace it with a lone pair of electrons we get a square planar because it's a square on a and all of them are on the same plane square planar this one is T shaped so you got another T for terrific you guys got this is terrific and then um, lastly we go back to um, linear okay so I um, hope you are, were able to see the three-dimensional models and you can really envision them, be able to determine uh, what it looks like. It kind of racks your brain to try to think of 
think of something three-dimensional and it's hard to draw so I'm glad these uh, videos helped you.